Hello everyone. Welcome to Art Journal Life. I'm Stacy, and today we're going to do a quick little video on using this little 3x5. I already have paint started on here as you can see so I don't know where this will go but this in June starts the index card a day challenge. I love this challenge. So I have these index cards here. I like the dot grid ones so I use those. I just make it part of the art or whatever I'm going to do. Uh, so I have this green paint here that I love the color and I happen to love this with the pink. So I am going to take my brayer and do this jelly print with this. Now this looks like I have a little too much paint. It does. So I am going to take a piece of paper that I have here just a flimsy piece of paper and I'm gonna rub some off. When it smears like this, when you see it get all smeary, you just know that's way too much paint. This little translucent look is more of what you're going for. So I'm just rolling it off on my piece of paper. I'll rub it off later. I also have this uh, piece of cardboard that I thought I would make a design with on here so that's what I'm doing and I think I'll go this way and this is going to be my big experiment for my index card today so I'm just going to lay this down and I don't worry that my edging you know is a little off or whatever Again, the idea to the index card a day challenge, it goes June through July. So June 1st through July 31st every year. I've done this for years and years and years. Uh, maybe next week I'll show you all my past years because it's kind of fun to look back on the art that you've created. And it's about making a little tiny piece of art on an index card. You could do that in any number of ways. You could use your gel print. You could theme it. Um, they give you themes if you want to use the themes. If you look up Daisy Yellow Index Card a Day, you'll find it. I just want to see if anything's coming off. It is. So I was hoping that that old paint would pull up. And a lot of it is. Some of it didn't. And this is what I've got today. And I'm going to call this a piece of art whatever we think of it. It's not perfect. I don't know why this one didn't come up, but I'm going to actually, if you stay with me, I'm going to do another poll. But I'm going to call this my art for today. My jelly print art. And I like it, so I'll leave it. But I am going to roll something else out here and just see if I can pull that off. I guess I might try the same paint. Just not so much of it. I just made a total mess. And I'm hoping I didn't get it on my shirt. Because mm, I didn't want to. Okay. So I'm just going to pull the second print. Pull, I mean. Yeah, it would be a second print. And I'm going to roll off again because that's still too much paint on there. So I just bought myself some Murphy's Oil Soap to hopefully soak my brayers in and try to get off some of the paint that's on there. I might stick this down again because I kind of liked the way that might look. And I'm going to go with that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. Now this would be a card for another day. I might use this as a background for something that I do next, but I figured while we still had that paint on there, I could pull a little bit more off of it. Now, I love this 3x5 um, jelly plate. I use this often for a lot of different things. Actually, I use it to as a paint palette sometimes. You know, I just put a little paint out on it. Let's see if I think this is going to lift. And Let's see, this actually looks like it has good color underneath this little dot that was left on here. 
So I use it for a paint palette. I use it to pull backgrounds. Oh, that didn't really come off, but look at that color in there. It's kind of making me happy. So this is my second pull, but I'm going to use this one for my index card for today. And I like this because this is a quick, I see there's still paint on here, so I'm going to try to lift it. This is a quick little way to make art. And the index card a day is just about making art every day and making it as simple as you possibly can. It does. It's not about being perfect. It's not about having things come out amazing. That's not what it's about. So I will use this as another, as the start of another card at some point, but this is my art for today right here. And I'm going to sit with this for a little bit to see if I want to add anything else. I usually do add borders to my art. So sometimes I just do something as simple as this. And yes, I scribble. And it's meant to be messy and I like it like that, right? This one needs a little more, I think. And maybe I had a second line. And there. This is my index card for today. And I'm calling it a day. I made some art. It's abstract art. I like the little frame I put around it. I'm good to go. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week and I'll see you soon.